okay so let's start working on our add page and we will need use state so there will be a name field an email field message and date and this will be new date dot to string and here in input field we will set data dot name the value and on change we will make a function called handle change this will be email and then message So here we will say set data to spread any existing data and then e dot target dot name e dot target dot value. So here we are targeting the in this name field and whatever user types in we are setting in here in value field. So in this case uh, it will be name and then here email and in the last one it will be message so let's add a handle submit function and it will be also an async function and first of all we need to prevent the default form behavior and in this form we will add this on submit and reference to handle submit function okay so now we need to make post request now oh, wait fetch and this was the endpoint. Method will be post headers content type application JSON. And then body. json dot stringify data so if the data is added successfully we probably should uh, redirect to home page so let's grab use history from react router dom And here we will say check if res dot ok. It will be true if uh, the request is successful. So in this case, we will redirect to home page. History dot replace slash. Okay, let's try this. go to add page
okay so the data is added name email and then the message let's check into our google sheet and here you can see this new row is just added okay so in the next video we will work on this delete functionality